At the beginning of the school year, your Google Classroom can be a little bit cluttered. You may have last year's classes, co-taught classes, cohort classes, and newly assigned classes in your Google Classroom dashboard. You'll want to clear up your dashboard and accept your newly assigned classes to start the year off right. Each individual course has its own menu. If you click on the vertical ellipses for any given classroom, you can move, copy the invite link, edit, copy the classroom, or archive the classroom from that drop-down menu. To clean up the dashboard, you'll want to click Archive to remove last year's Google Classroom. Archiving the classroom will hide but not delete the classroom. You and all students still connected to the class will no longer be able to see it in your dashboard. As long as the classroom is archived, you and your students cannot make any edits unless you restore the classroom. Any Google Workspace files that were associated with the classroom will remain in the owner's Google Drive. Once you click the second archive button, the class will be removed from your dashboard. You can still access all archived classes by visiting the archived classes tab in the main Google Classroom dashboards menu in the upper left hand corner. We'll revisit this skill at the end of the video. Repeat this archiving process for any Google Classroom that is directly registered to you. Remember, this does not delete your classroom, but rather takes it offline and out of sight. If you are invited to a course as a co-teacher, you won't be able to archive that classroom. Instead, you'll need to leave the class. Once you leave the class, you won't be able to make any changes to that class unless you are re-invited. Repeat this process for any courses or cohorts that you co-teach. If you were added to a Google Classroom as a student, like a department or team Google Classroom, check if the grouping or cohort will be replaced this year with a new Google Classroom, or if the owner will continue a previous classroom. If that particular course is being discontinued, you can click on the unenroll option in that classroom's vertical ellipses drop down menu. If you unroll from a class, you'll lose access to information and communications unless you are re invited by the owner. Little Sis has already created your classrooms and added your students for semesters one and two. You just need to accept the invitation to your new first semester Google Classroom courses by clicking on the accept button. The pre-assigned Google Classrooms are invisible until you accept the invitation fully. Students cannot see the classroom until you click on the second accept button. Once you've clicked on the second accept button, the classroom will be revealed to anyone connected to the course. Along with being added to your dashboard, you and your students will see a basic, boring, but beautifiable Google Classroom template. You can now make your edits, personalize it, and add assignments to that Google Classroom. If you click on the main Google Classroom menu in the upper left-hand corner and click on Classes, you can see that your first semester course has been accepted and it's now live. The invitation to your second semester Google Classrooms will remain on your dashboard as well. Now you can choose to ignore them all semester and hope that you don't accidentally keep clicking on them, uh, but either way that's going to mess up and clutter up your dashboard. If you want to clean up your dashboard, you can accept your second semester Google Classroom course following the same exact steps as accepting your first semester course. Once the classroom is accepted, however, you can archive it immediately. This will keep the student groupings intact and does not delete the course. It does, however, remove the classroom from all dashboards and removes editing and viewing access from all students. Once second semester comes around, you can restore your second semester classroom. To do this, you'll need to click on the Google Classroom's main menu in the upper left-hand corner of the website. From this menu, you can click on the Archived Classes menu, which will show you any and all archived classes from the past. To restore your second semester Google Classrooms, 
click on that specific course's vertical ellipsis menu. From this drop-down menu, you can delete older archived courses for good, or click Restore to release and reveal the Google Classroom to you and all of your students. This will add it to everyone's dashboard and give them viewing and editing rights. Once you click the second Restore button, the course will be revealed immediately and your students will have access to the classroom. It will also display in all teachers' and students' classroom dashboards.